Hey folks, Real Honesty with John Ritland. I'm John Ritland. Before I even get started with the skating rant <clears throat> to all affected by Hurricane Harvey, the fallout is currently going through <clears throat> all the all the issues, all the fallout from it, and everything. Those who have lost loved ones, those who are holding on to loved ones, those who are helping those that <clears throat> are in need, even if you don't know them, complete strangers, people banding together to do what they can to help others, people setting up. <clears throat> you know, shelters, cots, all that food, water, supplies, whatever people can do. Kudos to you for helping. So sorry to all those who have lost, have lost their homes, lost loved ones. I am, I am just terribly, terribly sorry. No one should have to go through this. No one absolutely should ever have to go through this. Natural disasters are absolutely terrible <clears throat> and it displaces so many people and it is an absolutely horrible, horrible thing. So again, everybody, I am so sorry. I am so sorry that our president is too busy tweeting about a fucking goddamn book. Oh, but he's sending stuff. Oh, it's do they're making great efforts down there. They're doing all this stuff. Look, I don't expect people to <clears throat> already be on the scene. You know, I can't send people into an active hurricane, active storms, that kind of stuff. Even though people have done it to do everything they can to rescue people, National Guard, <clears throat> other branches of the military, and just general, and there's people in general that are willing to help others. <clears throat> That's great. But no, our little president, our little dick president, is too busy tweeting about recommending a book. Or talking about the efforts and how they're making such great strides. Less tweeting, more dealing with the whole thing. Since you have all these resources at your command, including your own personal Twitter, which should be shut down until you realize that you can demonstrate, until you actually show us and present to us that you can demonstrate the ability to actually tweet normally and not like the goddamn five year old man child you are, maybe then. We'll actually buy into you. No one's going to buy into Trump because he's a soulless, heartless bastard. And I will say that right there. Now, again, do I expect miracles? No. People knew this natural disaster was coming for a number of days, possibly a few weeks. And it is terrible. And there are some people who didn't evacuate their home and got trapped, and that, that's, that's very, very terrible. There's no way to fully prepare for what a hurricane can do <clears throat> or what an earthquake can do. Or what, you know, of what floods can do and all that kind of stuff. Everything is different. Everything is absolutely different. But the fact that Trump is not even making any kind of effort to really do anything, they'll think, you know what, say, the military should just branch off and say, you know what, we're going to go help these people. Screw what he says. And that's what they should do. I don't know how relief efforts are going down there. From what I've seen from some pictures, there are people trapped up to their knees, up to their waists in water. In their own houses. And that's terrible. But no, Trump's too busy tweeting about a goddamn book and being the general rotten person that he is. And yeah, I'm going to focus on that. Because, again, miracles expected? No. Is every president responding the same <clears throat> with all natural disasters throughout the course of history? Looking back on history and even in the social media age, as social media continues to grow? No. Everybody responds differently. But the fact... That this guy would rather plug a book on his Twitter than just say, <clears throat> I'm going to devote my time to taking care of this issue, to taking care of the American people, like he said he would, even though it was a lie, because he only cares about himself and his other rich, you know, constituents. He, he is an idiot. And anybody that voted for him, sorry, you guys are looking more and more stupid as time goes on. This is revolting, guys and girls. This is revolting, people. Absolutely revolting. Trump does not deserve <clears throat> any sympathy if he's dealing, if he's, you know, you know, oh, feeling the stress of dealing with this kind of stuff. Guess what? He shouldn't have taken the damn office then. But no, too busy tweeting about a goddamn book. Too busy calling shit fake news instead of dealing with the goddamn natural disaster fallout. Too busy not defend, you know, like you know, saying there's hate on all sides and not condemning <clears throat> right away all the white supremacists, all that stuff, but just focusing on Hurricane Harvey, what's happened and what's continuing to happen. Again, I don't expect people to go into an active storm, even though a lot of people have done it. But Trump is just showing a blatant lack of just <clears throat> humanity. I mean, not surprising. The guy hasn't had a heart in about, oh, I'd say 30 years if he ever had one. I know he has a hard on for his own damn daughter because he's a freak. 
<clears throat> but, <clears throat> but, I'm going to say this much to anybody affected. I am so sorry. Again, so sorry, and I'm sorry our president's an inept, stupid fuck that can't do anything. That's <clears throat> apparently cut funding to FEMA, according to stuff I've read. You know, and all that, and like, you know, and a bunch of disaster relief funds <clears throat> are strapped for cash. Which, whether it's by him cutting funding, <clears throat> or just a general lack of support, who knows. But it's Trump's responsibility to raise that support as the president, though he's president in name only. <clears throat> and anybody that voted for him, you guys are idiots. I'm just saying it, you guys are fucking idiots. Absolute fucking idiots. And it's just embarrassing. And it's embarrassing, by the way, <clears throat> that he was, you know, pardoning that sheriff. And I don't even want to say the guy's damn name because it disgusts me what he did with prisoners. <clears throat> I'm all for being tough on prisoners. There are a lot that deserve to be tough on. Or deserve to, you know, <clears throat> people to, should be tough on them because of what they did and a whole bunch of, you know, vile murders and this kind of stuff and whatever. But prisoners were raped. Women gave birth in prison. The conditions that they were kept in were absolutely deplorable. <clears throat> it was absolutely atrocious. The stuff I've read. I can't even recount it. Just <clears throat> check articles on on Twitter. Check articles on Twitter, on Facebook, on Google, all that stuff. It is just <clears throat> it is just it just blows my damn mind that he would rather do that. He would rather pardon a blatantly racist sheriff that should have never been allowed to see the light of day. He should be in goddamn jail right now. <clears throat> but Trump would rather do that <clears throat> and hold a rally. A Nazi rally, as I call it. Because at this point, if you're supporting Trump, you're pretty much a white supremacy. You're pretty much supporting white supremacy. There really isn't any other way to say it. But this is absolutely pathetic. 100% pathetic. <clears throat> and I am just embarrassed. <clears throat> I will stay in this country because I love this country, but I am embarrassed by what people have turned it into and what people have allowed Trump to turn it into. The resistance, this whole resistance, resisting Trump, it's going to have to continue. And oh, the transgender ban. ban. Let's get into that. All his golf trips and all that shit and all those vacations he takes. And all the secret service hours that are way, way bloated protecting his family, his stupid family. Except for the little kid. 10 or 11 years old, something like that. Except for him. He hasn't had a chance to grow up yet. He gets pushed off to the side. Ivanka's children, whatever, get pushed off to the side. Because... Little children shouldn't have to deal with a bunch of stupid, fucking, rich, white people that don't know anything about anything. At least anything useful. <clears throat> but all the man hours protecting Ivanka so Trump can have some prime you-know-what later when he gets tired of his current wife, which he's doing such a bang-up job with that, she doesn't even want to touch him, which I don't know why anybody would except for all the damn money he has. All those Secret Service hours devoted <clears throat> to protecting them. And I'm sorry, by the way, <clears throat> for getting a little bit fired up. This is absolutely pathetic. All these Secret Service hours. And then the transgender ban. Why? Some people are unfit to be in military service. Myself included. I never bothered to try and get into the military because I knew I couldn't handle it. I knew I couldn't. But there are plenty of people. Guys that want to turn into women. Women that want to turn into guys that actually are fit to be in the military. Now, if they have a brain disorder or something or whatever, if they can't pass the rigors of the tests, you know, <clears throat> and all that, okay. But don't ban them just because they're transgender. And next, it's going to be gay people. and It's going to be gay men. It's going to be lesbian women. That's what it's going to be. This is the first step. Because how dare people <clears throat> be born thinking another lifestyle, it being embedded into them because of who they are. How dare they be born gay and be punished for it for the rest of their lives. And by the way, if you have a problem with the fact that I'm supporting the fact that <clears throat> transgender gay people, all that, should be in the military, because by the way, the whole gay ban is coming next. If you guys have a problem with the fact that I support gay marriage, then you should not be following me on Twitter. Because I do. <clears throat> now, we all have different beliefs and that kind of stuff. 
But if you're going to tell me I'm wrong just because, and by the way, you want to quote the Bible, a 2,000 plus year old book is telling you, no. Get with the times <clears throat> and realize, if you don't want to, if you don't think it's the right lifestyle, fine, cool, but don't hate them for it. And that's what this is. It's discrimination. It's hatred. There should only be the best of the best to serve in the military, all branches of the military. And I'm willing to admit that. Because absolutely, we should have the best, the best of the best. People that are willing to serve, that are able to take care of themselves, that are able to take care of their fellow man, their fellow woman, whatever. And able to do the right things <clears throat> and defend our country, defend our freedoms, and do things that, no, that most normal people wouldn't do, but they, all branches of the military, work extremely hard. And should be taken care of accordingly. But, oh no, we're going to start banning people that have a different lifestyle. Now look, if they're pedophiles, if they're rapists, no, they shouldn't be allowed in the goddamn military. They shouldn't be allowed in anywhere except prison. Or maybe a chair with a needle in them. And yeah, I'm going to say that. But, you're going to ban people because they're transgender? Can they do their job? Can they do it well? Can they not affect their fellow soldier? If that's the case, <clears throat> then guess what? It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't fucking matter. And this transgender ban, it's just more deflection of the whole thing with Russia and all this stuff. Because Trump's losing support left and right. People are leaving or being forced to leave his damn administration with all the secrets that he has because the guy can't keep his goddamn mouth shut on anything, especially on his own personal account, which again, why is that not shut down? <clears throat> or at least limited. The guy doesn't even know what he's doing. It took him three or four different times to learn how to spell heel. He kept spelling it H-E-E-L. He was probably thinking of the time that he was a heel back in the whole Vince McMahon, you know, uh, thing. Back in WrestleMania 23, even though he's supposed to be the babyface, uh, people were mostly cheering Vince. Because, sorry, Trump, I mean, there were some people cheering Trump in Detroit, but, you know, they're uh, Detroit, I mean, come on, they weren't exactly being very smart there. <clears throat> um... They still support the Lions. Sorry, the Lions are lousy. But just, guys, the transgender man shouldn't be happening. That sheriff, and you know the one I'm talking about, should be in jail. Hell, he should be, he should be executed for what he did. There's one thing with ruling with an iron fist, and there's another thing by torturing people to the point that they die. And then, all the Secret Service hours and all that. And then, plugging a book in the midst of a goddamn hurricane and the fallout. Instead of devoting all your time, not to Twitter. But devoting your time to pooling all the resources with all the available resources and all the available programs and all the available staff you have to make sure <clears throat> that everybody is accommodated as best they can be. Nothing is perfect. There's no perfect way to deal with disaster. But the fact that he won't and he'd rather plug a book is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Now, two more things I'm going to talk about, if you guys are still watching. And I will actually put in the description, by the way, of course, if you're watching this point, I will put in the description, warning, politic, you know, it's like anti-Trump rant to follow. Or, you know, politics in the first 13, 13 and a half minutes. Now I'm going to talk about a couple other things that have made me really, really pissed off. The fallout of the Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor fight. First off, I mean I didn't watch it because I'm not gonna waste a hundred bucks supporting a damn woman beater. And until footage comes out or stuff comes out about Conor McGregor, reputable proof of Conor McGregor abusing women, I'm talking about Floyd Mayweather, who people want to support. It's like I actually got in an argument and my best friend can vouch for this, <coughs> should he ever should he watch this want to comment. But people were like, oh, what I make the comment about something about how Floyd Mayweather earned all this money and maybe he could use that money because he's a piece of shit, by the way. He's a piece of shit person. Same with John Jones. Floyd may somehow be worse. Um, maybe he could use that money and take some reading lessons because Floyd, for all the trash he talks and for all the stuff he does, can't even really read a goddamn book. Struggled with Cat in the Goddamn Hat. And he's an adult. Now, look, <clears throat> illiteracy is no joke. It is a terrible thing when people cannot learn the right way. If I recall right, there are some of my favorite wrestlers. One of my favorite wrestlers in particular, I think it was DDP, had to teach himself how to read and had to take courses and stuff like that. There are some people that have a learning disability that they develop slower and they aren't able to read until later. That is understandable. <clears throat> Floyd's is just out and out laziness. The guy's got all that money, 
all those all those millions of dollars and he can't get people with him you know maybe like a tutor this kind of stuff to help him learn how to read to get his education up to at least i don't know maybe at least a high school level the guy doesn't need to be a Rose Scholar because Lord knows he's not. I mean, he's nothing but a woman beater. And that's what Floyd is, is a goddamn woman beater. It's not fake news like this jack-off said on this Facebook post. Floyd is an idiot. Now, Connor, look, Connor took this fight. They, they both got paid whatever, and they, they both won. I didn't watch this fight. I thought it was going to be a sham. According to some people, it was better than they thought it was going to be. Well, I thought it was going to be through the fucking floor. So I don't, I don't really give a shit. That's not even about the fight. I don't care about Floyd's 50-0 record. Good for him. He picked the right opponents. He picked some soup cans, some tomato cans, at the <clears throat> right time at the end of his career to extend his record. He's not the first fighter to do it. He wouldn't be the last fighter to do it. Even though boxing, I can maybe name five boxers right now, active boxers. Because that's unfortunately, sadly, where boxing is gone, which is sad because boxing's a pretty good sport. Even though it involves people punching each other in the head and the body and that kind of stuff. Um, kickboxing and MMA is better. But Floyd, <clears throat> the pile of shit that he is. And I mean, it's like, take a look. If I remember right, I remember the years. I think it was, I don't know if it was 2003, but I know 2005 and 2010 for sure. In 2010, his own son recounted watching his father beat his mother, the wife of his child, the wife of that child. In front of him. And Floyd was sentenced to 90 days in jail. I don't remember how many days he served. I don't care. I, I, I don't care. He probably got pampered like a little bitch that he is. And yeah, I say to his face he's a little bitch. Because he is. I don't care how great of a fighter he is. Good. He's 50 and 0. Congratulations. Be 500 and 0 for all I care. That doesn't mean that Floyd's a good guy. Now, does that mean that it's a blanket statement about domestic violence? Look, everybody, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time is Stone Cold Steve Austin, who has had numerous domestic violence charges against him. There's an asterisk nest next to him. Even as great as his career was, one of the greatest wrestling careers of all time. That's got an asterisk to it. And there's no excuse for domestic violence, whether it's men beating men, men beating women, women beating men, women beating women. I don't care. There's no excuse for taking advantage of your partner, somebody who loves and trusts you. And doing it, doing that to them, beating them, taking advantage of them, and especially doing it in front of your own damn children. So no, I have no fucking respect for Floyd Mayweather. And if I ever saw him, I would yell at him. Maybe I'd hold up cue cards and say, hey, dumb fuck, can you read this? You stupid fuck. And it's not the people that can't read are stupid. That's not it. Floyd's stupid, though, because he has done nothing but dri you know, drive up his own ego. Oh, I'm the best. I'm the best. This kind of stuff. And you can't even read a damn book. So, yeah, I'm going to pick on that. But I'm especially going to pick on the domestic violence, which, oh, it's, oh, it's fake news, like this one person said, which I don't even know who the hell they are. I mean, <clears throat> it's funny that I got called nothing but racist when all I said about Floyd was, one, he can't read and he might want to spend on reading lessons, and that he had the domestic violence stuff or whatever, and even cited certain ones, you know, like a, the incident from 2010 that I mentioned, and people still want to say, <clears throat> oh, we're going to sweep it under the rug. The NFL is just as bad because of what they do, the domestic violence thing. MLB's done it. NFL especially is given in the limelight the most. <clears throat> domestic violence is no damn joke. No goddamn joke. And it's revolting that people say Floyd's the best. People have actually said Floyd's a good role model. Anybody that says that Floyd's a good role model should, <clears throat> should actually, you know, tell people where they live so their neighbors can write, a liar lives here. Because, honestly, that's ridiculous. Now... Is Floyd's story inspirational? If Floyd wasn't a domestic abuser and was just a royal prick who couldn't read, whatever, he'd be an insufferable rich guy. The fa It's like, is it great that he was able to earn this money? Yeah, it's great he was able to find a bunch of damn suckers to A, fight him, and a bunch of suckers to buy the fight. And I'm sorry to anybody who's watching this that bought the fight. I'm not calling you guys suckers. If you guys wanted to see a really good fight and a really good undercard, cool. But a lot of the people are the ones that say Floyd's a bad, Floyd the, this, this kind of stuff. Anybody that doesn't like Floyd is a hater. No, anybody that doesn't like Floyd actually has a goddamn brain on him. 
and there's one person in particular, she's never going to watch this because she's, ES, she's an ESPN <clears throat> article writer. I forget what, I forget what she exactly writes for, you know, not that she's ever going to watch this. Sarah Spain, who is somebody I've, I respected her work for a few years since the first time I was actually turned on to the fact that she existed on ESPN. Sorry, I don't keep up on everybody that writes stuff. She brought up a whole bunch of uh, great points about the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather fight. And I'm just going to say this. It, it was a joke. It was a sham, in my opinion. Now, McGregor did well. Good. I was hoping it wasn't going to happen. I was hoping he was going to put Floyd's, you know, Floyd straight on his back and maybe bust him up bad. Because guess what? That's what Floyd deserves. Deserves to be, and I'm just going to say, put in his place. Not by, and that's not a race thing. You can call it a race thing all you want. Put in his place for what he did to, to, to that woman. And probably to other women. There are probably other women we don't know about. But in particular, the one that he did that to, that is the mother of his child. And did it in front of that child. No, he deserves to be scorned and hurt for what he did. Because you never do that to the mother that bears your children. You never do that. A woman that goes through that much pain. And look, this is not a, you know, a feminist thing or whatever. Because <clears throat> I've seen plenty of women that have abused men. And that is ridiculous. Because human beings, we can be nasty creatures to each other. Really nasty creatures. And that led to me talking about... Well, just first, you know, talking about women being abusive. First, finish up this point. If Floyd Mayweather ends up where he's unable to pay his taxes because he's a goddamn idiot and doesn't know how to spend his money and keeps all this rich stuff and won't sell off his damn cars and this kind of stuff, if he's going to do that kind of stuff and can't pay his taxes from two fucking years ago, reportedly, it, until he got this fight because he's an idiot, it's a good thing he has a team they can count for him and this kind of stuff. I don't even think he can read the uh, the words on the dollar bill, or any dollar bill, or a hundred. And I don't think he's ever. I don't think he's seen a dollar bill in a while. Is Floyd a great promoter? Sure. Is Floyd a great fighter? Sure. He's boring, but defensive and but being de a defensive boxer and counter punching is part of the game. But that doesn't take away from the fact he's a woman abusing pile of shit. And if you guys want to defend him, if you guys want to defend his fighting ability, fine. But do not defend him as a human being. People say, oh, you weren't there. Well, enough people have recounted it, and his own son, 10 years old or not, saw the thing. And I'm just going to say, I don't think he'd want to rat out his dad. I don't think he'd want to rat out his dad. With as rich as his dad, I don't think he'd want to rat him out if he didn't see it. Kids make up shit, but no way. No way was that made up. And he should have spent more time in jail. He should have spent about five to ten years there. At least. But he's rich. So that's why he got off. And this is it's not a race thing. It's not a race thing with me. I could give a damn if he came from the goddamn mood. Floyd. Money. Mayweather. He may be made of money. But he ain't got a goddamn soul. And his maker. <clears throat> his make, He will meet his maker one day. And face... That, and I'm not a religious person, but maybe if he is, he'll face some kind of judgment. And they'll realize, hey, this guy doesn't belong up here. He belongs down here. Are we all perfect? Fuck. No, we're not perfect. But the worst, and I'm just telling you, little divulgence here, the worst I ever did. I pushed a girlfriend that I had one time because she got in my face. I pushed her on the bed to get her away from me. I looked at my hands. I was so disgusted with myself. I ran in. I started. ran into the bathroom, and I started just angrily crying. You know that kind of angry cry you get when you did something you knew you shouldn't have done. You're just so angry with yourself. Well, that's what I did. Because I was raised to not do that. I was raised by two damn good people. A damn good mom and a damn good dad. They raised me never. To raise my hand to a woman. I mean, if defend yourself if needed. If somebody's trying to kill you, absolutely, gender's out the door. But to take advantage of that just because you're a man over a woman, uh-uh. <clears throat> just because somebody loves you and you think you can do that, uh-uh. And like I said, I don't care if it's a man and a man, a man and a woman, a woman and a man, woman and a woman. I don't care. 
if somebody's going to do that to their loved one, then they don't have a heart, they don't have a goddamn soul. Now, the final point. This show's going really long, so thank you guys for putting up with this angry rant. In fact, this last little part is about Sexy Star. And I did not watch Triple Mania 25, which took place in Mexico. And featured a lot of uh, some cool moments and everything, including Aerostar doing a massive dive, dot, 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 dive. Um, fortunately, he's okay, because that looked really unsafe. Um... But the main thing I want to talk about is a match where, in this part of the ring, you had Sexy Star and Rosemary, who's current TNA, now GFW. Um, she's a current talent there. And Jeff Jarrett was working there um, at Triple Mania. He was working with a co-promotion and this kind of stuff. Okay, cool, whatever. Sexy Star, who's famous, you know, being part of AAA and Lucha Underground, is in the ring <clears throat> with Rosemary. And even though Rosemary had tapped out, I saw this little clip, had tapped out, like, you know, given up, Rosemary given up, Sexy Star kept ha hammering on the arm and kept trying, to, it looked like she tried to break it. And according to a lot of witnesses and according to a lot of people that watched the clip, some people that were at the show said it was deliberate. So I'm just going to say as much, I don't know if Sexy Star and Rosemary, the, the woman playing Rosemary, have heat. I don't know. If, I don't know if the woman playing Rosemary. And sorry, I don't. I don't know a ton about her. I know she's a good character, and she's a very good wrestler. I don't know if they have heat. I don't have a clue. But I can't imagine what Rosemary could have done to provoke that. Sexy Star looked like she went into business for herself, and if this turns out to be true, she should be blacklisted immediately. Immediately. That was uncalled for. Apparently Karen Jarrett wants to bring Sexy Star in to work some GFW tapings so their women can get a receipt. This is the same Karen Jarrett, of course, that knocked women's wrestling at a um, <clears throat> Q&A thing she did with JR. She basically talked, not talked so favorably about women's wrestling. But whatever, that aside. I'm not a fan of Karen Jarrett, but whatever. She's the wife of the promoter, so she's going to be on TV much to the chagrin and, you know, much to the detriment of the product. But back to Sexy Star. She deserves to be blacklisted. And guess what? Hopefully, this means a lot of those talents, a lot of those GFW talents won't go to work in Mexico. Maybe until Sexy Star is taught a lesson. Taught a lesson by being banned. I'm not saying she deserves to have her ass beaten. I'm not saying that this kind of stuff doesn't happen in other promotions. Talents don't take liberties with others. That's happened. That has been part of the business. But now in 2017, that is just uncalled for. I'm not saying everybody needs to be hypersensitive and everybody needs to handle each other with kids' gloves. I'm not saying that. But what happened to Rosemary was uncalled for. Absolutely uncalled for. The more I saw that footage, I watched that clip at least five times while I was at work. Another couple times while I was here, at home, preparing for this rant. Sexy Star deserves to be fired. I don't think she will be, because AAA is desperate for stars and everything. <clears throat> um... Even though the Triple Mania show, I didn't... It looked like a pretty good-sized crowd. It looked like a pretty good-sized venue. So it looked like they were doing well. But from what I heard, from what people tweeted, they said the show was a mess. And coming from somebody who's a WWE fan, WCW fan, if it's anything like those kind of messes, oh God, that's not the thing a promotion needs. And this is definitely not the thing a promotion needs. One of their talents taking advantage and taking liberties with another talent. When the whole point of wrestling <clears throat> is to put on a good show, make it look real, but not get hurt. And Sexy Star broke that code, and she should be fired. If it is proven that she did this deliberately, and it looks like she did, she should be fired. Immediately. Now, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Leave comments if you would like. My Twitter handle is in the description. Like, share, subscribe also. This has been Real Honesty with John Ritlin. I'm John Ritlin, my longest rant yet. I will see you soon.